Tonight, residents of several local HOA communities say they're living in a nightmare, and it's all because of one property management company. And as local 10 investigative reporter Amy Viteri discovered, the situation is so bad that residents say they're unable to sell their property even if they wanted to. No financial statements, no forging yeah. elections. Never, never, never. We could barely make it inside the Three Horizons East condominium in North Miami before neighbors swarmed us, each with a problem to share. You can't use your own spot because they're towing you from the yes. 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 The complaints focus on their property manager, Michael Curtis, and his company, BDM Property Management, who owners allege fraudulently installed their HOA board of directors. Were there elections? No, there haven't been elections here in four years. No elections and no help. Neighbors point to busted building pipes, flooding units with sewage and mold, unpaid vendors refusing to do repairs, leaving some residents to pay out of pocket. He charged me $299, that's the plumber. Thousands of dollars in maintenance fees unaccounted for, and owners say they're stuck. There's currently a lien on this entire building. Correct. What does that mean for anyone who would like to get out? You can't. That's because unit owner Jenny Trujillo says the lease for the land the building sits on has gone unpaid since March, according to records. It hasn't been paid. We owe $25,000. The association also owes $84,000 in penalties for fire code violations, meaning another lien on the property. And neighbors say they can't even use the community's pool and rec center. It's because we haven't paid the recreation fee of $1,500 a month in over since 2019. An invoice shows that balance is $63,000. But Trujillo says owners are paying their maintenance and they have receipts to prove it. So where is the money going? We went to BDM's office in Pompano Beach to ask Curtis directly. He didn't come to the door, but he was inside. That's him there peeking around the corner. And here again, using his phone to try to see us. We can see you. We're with Channel 10. Do you mind coming out to speak with us? Eventually, he did open the door. We were trying to talk to you about the residents at Three Horizons East. Okay, unfortunately, I can't do any, I, can, I gotta finish some calls. Can we wait for you and talk about this issue? That's fine. We have plenty of time. Is this about, you said, a deposition? Do you want to say anything really quick while we've got you about all of these allegations of financial mismanagement? If you gladly send an email, we'll... I will, but I really think they would prefer to hear from you directly. We did get an email from Curtis's attorney who disputed many of the owner's claims, but offered no proof. For example, he claimed the recreation lease has been paid, so we checked again. It hasn't. Meanwhile, we've learned of several other communities managed by BDM where owners have very similar complaints. One of those communities, the Fairways of Sunrise, is suing BDM. Court records reveal in 2020, the Fairways HOA received a $440,000 settlement for damage from Hurricane Irma, money owners say they never saw. Curtis denied being aware of any payout, but bank records from that month show his company, BDM, got a check from the HOA for $439,000, nearly the exact amount. Unfortunately, it's an uphill battle for an owner to fight, you know, this kind of mess in an association. Um, it, it shouldn't be like that, but that's the reality. Attorney Alessandra Stivelman specializes in condo association law. She says the burden is on unit owners to keep an eye on their board of directors and property manager, and getting rid of either can be costly and time consuming. Ultimately, I'd love to see more involvement by the police department when there are allegations and um, more, more funds and staff allocated to economic crimes. The state's Department of Business and Professional Regulation oversees property management companies and has taken action against BDM over previous complaints, and it's currently investigating new ones. The agency telling us it does have the authority to revoke a manager's license, something neighbors say needs to happen here. We want to live in peace. Bring us up to date. Tell us where all our money is. Tell us who's not paying. Be honest. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. A spokesperson for the DBPR tells Local 10 they are reviewing complaints and revocation would be an option they consider depending on the violation found and what they determine in that review.